My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? If you're gonna go on babbling like this all night, could you just kill me now? Oh no. We're in no hurry, you and I. Not now. Maybe some physical torture to distract me from your voice? At that moment, on the mountain, I aimed to kill you with dispatch, and yet did not. Why? This failing troubled my thoughts haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you here so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun everything as it was meant to be predestined and preordained <laughs> some destiny you're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings. A pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable, if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature joined to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary.
Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? These, proud in broad light of day, were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Juron ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in fuse the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands!